I've got this situation. Now I've got this boat. All right, I've, I've got a bunch of boats. Let's face it, I got that one, that one, da da da. This boat over here is the one I'm gonna talk about right now. This is my fastest boat. It's a little trimaran and it's pretty fast. Now I recently did some modifications on it and made a tilting roof so I can tilt it toward the sun, which makes a huge difference. Actually, it really makes a difference. Because before when the roof was just flat, you know, when the sun would come up above the horizon in the morning, I'd get basically nothing and I wouldn't get good power till like 9.30 or 10. But man, when I can tip the solar panels, oh, huge difference. I also added another solar panel because originally this was only this wide but I was like well if I make it wider I can take the solar panels from this way and put four of them this way where only three fit originally so I got four or I got five solar panels up here when I originally had four and I did that because when I first made the boat I had some batteries in it now these batteries I had were, they were very used lithium iron phosphate batteries. And at some point I just got to the point where they weren't really useful anymore. So I switched to no batteries. So right now this boat has no batteries in it. And that's the main reason I put the extra solar panel on it so I can get closer to top speed, even without you know a battery power system. However, I have a big battery coming for this boat. And I'm going to get into how this happened. I am, I am not paying for it, but I'm getting a really nice battery for this boat. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get into that more when it gets here. It should be here pretty soon, actually. But since I'm going to have battery power on this boat, I kind of want to go back to four solar panels. Because, well, I mean, that, one of the big reasons I wanted the fifth solar panel was so I could get closer to full speed. But with the battery, I can, I can go full speed. And having the, having the fifth solar panel on here makes it so this thing has to be wider back here, which, you know, is a, is a little bit of a pain. And I mean, it's fine, but I had to, you know, bolt on some side things and it's kind of like, I'm glad I just bolted it on now, actually, because then I, now I can take it off pretty easily. Um, you know, they add a bit of weight and a, I don't know, it's just like, Look at it, it's just like it's, like it's just slapped on there. And now I think I can take those off and go back to four solar panels that fit perfectly up on this thing. And they'll go right to the front too. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take the solar panels off this boat, all five of them, then remove these side additions and then mount my four solar panels, you know, how they originally were. Although it won't be how they originally were, because I'm still going to have the, the tilting parts, which will be amazing. And then, when I get the, the battery, it's a pretty big battery. I think, I think I can put it up in the front here, though. I'm going to have to make the hatch bigger. So this is kind of where I keep stuff. I don't know what's in there right now. This is some junk. Not much. I don't think the battery will fit through that hole. I'm pretty sure it won't. So I might have to cut that a bit bigger, but I am pretty sure the battery will fit in there. Uh, another reason I want to take off one of the solar panels and this extra side stuff is that it's going to take a bit of weight off and kind of compensate for the battery. The battery is still going to weigh more than one of these solar panels and this side stuff, but it'll, it'll, it'll make a difference. I think I'll just do a quick systems check right now. I've got pretty low light right now, so it's not not running full speed, but it totally works. Um, and then I've also got pedal power here, which turns that color right there. Ah, I love this boat. I kind of would like the pedal power propeller to be higher because it sticks out the bottom of the boat. And if I go through anything shallow, like that's the thing that's going to hit. You know, it also makes it so I can't beach the boat. I could totally beach the boat even with the electric propeller back there. But whatever, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay. Uh, one thing at a time, Jamie. 
Yeah, let's get all these solar panels off and then remove these side things. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to charge the battery on this boat because these solar panels don't have high enough voltage to charge the battery I'm getting. However, two of them would, but I don't have any MPPT charge controllers, right? So I was mentioning this on a video and some dude's like, it was on a, it was on a live actually, so he could comment. He's like, well, why don't you just put one on your Amazon wish list?" And I was like, well, okay. And he just bought it for me. So I have a, I have the charge controller now. Well, it's coming, it's coming at the same time the batteries are coming. So I'll be able to connect two of those solar panels to the battery through the charge controller and it will totally charge. And then the other two solar panels I'll just have on the same kind of switch it has right now, which is just direct connect to the motor. So it'll be, you know, partly powered by the solar panels, partly powered by the battery, which will also be getting charged by the solar panels. All right, I think I should shut up and just start drilling out rivets. Okay. Oh, but also a quick thank you to the guy who sent me that charge controller. It's totally awesome, man. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, well, that went pretty quick. I totally forgot that most of these solar panels have sticky backs. So I had to pry them off a little bit. Luckily, I stuck them on and pried them off once previously, so this time it was actually pretty easy to get them off. And these solar panels are from these guys. They make some really high quality stuff. Yeah, these things have been amazing. All right, if I remember correctly, I just have a few bolts needed to get these side things off. Why are you focusing in long distance? I'm pretty sure 7 16ths is what I'm looking for here. Yep. Oh, beauty. It does feel a little bit silly taking these off. So I just put them on, I guess actually I put them on months ago now. I've gone on a bunch of trips in the boat since I put this together. So, yeah, I mean, I, get, I definitely got some use out of it as it was. But now that I'm getting these, this battery and this charge controller, I think, I think I'm going to use this boat a lot more. I'll be able to drive around at night. At night, not just on the pedals. Excuse me, tree. Okay, seriously. That is kind of sleeker. Ooh, that's way more sleek. Look at that. Nice stuff. Ooh, those are looking nice. One silly thing is, so I have to have them uh, not perfectly straight because these things, I mean, I could take these connectors out, but then I have to put something that might be less reliable. Uh, it'd be nice if these connectors came out sideways. So they wouldn't interfere with each other, but whatever. This is just a, a project specific gripe. I'm sure there are a lot of situations where it's they're totally fine. Uh, oh yeah, and why don't I just have all the wires at, at one end, like they can come up this way and come up this way and then have this one here and that one over there. Well, these stick out past the edge of the solar panel, right? And that means they'd be sticking out like this and would partially shade the next solar panel. Ah! So, yeah, this is this is the way to do them. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. And I'm pretty sure this company actually makes them in different, you know, orientations, these things up here. All right. All riveted in, not going anywhere. Oh, I got a pile of wires to deal with. Like 
these guys need holes right through here, I guess, or right there, or here. Maybe these ones will go through there, and these other ones will go through here. They can go through here. As long as I don't go through any, you know, important stuff, it's fine to go through just, just the plastic. All right, all the wires are through. I got the ones back there too. A bunch of these wires are nothing, but I mean, they were from what was here. I'm just gonna ignore those for the moment and leave everything until I get the batteries. Or the battery. The battery and the charge controller. And then I'll wire everything together. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. Oh, I'll be, be able to drive full speed. Oh. And I have a solar panel to use on something. Oh, maybe I should put it on the kid's car and finish the kid's car. Yeah.